in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed we call upon the God who has helped us to show you his grace and his mercy turn you into living wonders that they will know you have been with Jesus we bless you we curse every limitation we curse every challenge please help those under the anointing we declare by the Spirit of the Living God that everything that does not name Christ depart from your life tonight we call you signs and wonders we call you flames of fire and in the name of jesus let tonight's service be for you in the name of jesus thank you again may god bless you please be seated um, i may not have the time and the luxury to do an extended introduction but i really want to appreciate our special guests um, let's bless god first for wow we have a whole team all the way from lagos please rise please rise hicc lagos thank you thank you so so much may the lord truly honor you in the name of jesus christ please sit dr anointed is there and the pastor house on the rock no not house i'm used to house on the rock forgive me father's delight gombe thank you thank you so much Thank you so much. Our very own, the bishop himself, Bishop Manasseh. <laughs> Pastor Jakes is also here in our midst. We honor you. Hallelujah. Now, please don't be offended. There are several others, um, and we honor you. I'm told um, you came with a team of people, some officers. Where are they? Please stand. Please stand. Let's honor you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Lord bless you. And um, let, me, let me uniquely honor um, the former PFN chairman. Please stand. The Lord bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, keep standing just, just a moment. Please don't be embarrassed. I just want to edify someone in a minute. The, the story behind the connection with this precious man of God. And for those of you who live around the Adamawa region, um, 2014, it was... Boko Haram invaded Mubi and environs, and um, it was a havoc to the church. I mean, they burned churches, killed people, maimed people, took away uh, people. So for a period of two or three years or thereabout afterwards, it was like the church in that area was completely shut down. And um, it took men like him alongside mighty generals of God to summon the courage to revive the work of the Lord and it's remarkable and I thank God for the honor that God provided to be able to lend a hand in building the strength of the church within that area and we thank God for what Jesus is doing we honor you sir thank you please sit please sit oh, in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34. Psalm 34. Psalm 34. From verse 19. I was trying to catch some rest when this scripture just came to my spirit. And I believe that this will serve as a compass and as a guide to what the Spirit of the Lord will be doing tonight. 
Psalm 34 and verse 19. The Bible says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Not few, many, although a righteous person. The power of God is coming on that woman. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just pouring oil on that. I don't know if it's a young lady. And I'm seeing the Lord is, this scripture is for that lady. There's no limit to what God is able to do in an atmosphere. Many are the afflictions. So we're dealing with affliction here. The main subject is not the affliction. The main subject is the person. Bless you. Ah, our mommy is here hiding somewhere. I have to honor her. Dr. Mrs. Onu, thank you so much. And then I see a number of people from Joss. Nathaniel is there with his dear wife. Thank you. Please forgive me. Just um, if my eyes can find you, we'll honor you. Praise the Lord. It is amazing that even the righteous can be afflicted. The Bible did not say many is the affliction now. The Holy Spirit is, oh my God, there are several people. Godwin is here, Pastor Godwin and his dear wife. And then the pastor of Living Faith, Samaru here. Honor you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. A righteous man being afflicted, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Now, that's a very disturbing statement. Because you would expect that the righteous should never even have to be afflicted. Are we together now? Many, it would have been enough disaster to say the, the righteous is afflicted. But he said many are the afflictions of the righteous. That's the first information. That righteous men can be afflicted. That means affliction has nothing necessarily to do with righteousness. Please listen very carefully. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. And then the second part of it says, but the Lord. Every time the Bible talks about the Lord, find peace first before you. Whatever follows after that statement, the Lord is always a miracle. But the Lord delivered him. Out of them all. The key word is all. Many are the sicknesses, infirmities, pain of the righteous. But the Lord, being a righteous man is not necessarily about doing right alone. It's about the covenant that has invested God's grace upon your life that God is obliged to defend. Listen carefully. The Bible did not say many are the afflictions of the righteous and on crying, the Lord delivered him. The Bible says the Lord will arise as an act of his honor to the righteous deliver him and insist that he's completely delivered are we together many are the afflictions of the righteous you know many times when believers have maybe infirmity bills all kinds of things we sometimes are sad not because of the challenges but because we believe we are the righteous are we together now but the bible comforts us here by telling us that god the god of the heavens has the interest of the righteous at heart it's important to understand this that by the wisdom the power the jealousy and the grace of god there is always a way of delivering him out of them all are we blessed 
it was the psalmist that said i will lift up my eyes follow me carefully onto the hills then he said from whence cometh my help so he's talking about help here you can get help from many 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 means but he says my help cometh from the same word again the lord is his personal name yahweh the lord the maker of the heavens and the earth i hope you know that it's not only the heavens and the earth that god can make god can make men god can transform men hmm. my help cometh from the lord the maker of the heavens and the earth it is a powerful advantage to be a believer look at me because there is an array of a supply of mysterious spiritual arsenals being a believer is not just about making heaven it's not even just about subscribing to the government of Christ is that you now belong to a kingdom that is mysteriously powerful sustaining abilities and strategies that are only limited by the wisdom of the Christ now God is not wise he is the fountain of wisdom that revelation should scare you if God is wise it means he has to depend on an information outside of himself but it is within his power to fabricate infinite strategies to see that a believer testifies hmm. powerful revelation we are limited that is the reason why sometimes we have to outsource intelligence but God is the fountain of wisdom his wisdom cannot allow a situation to be higher than his ability to solve it this is one of the things that makes him God the ability to insist until creation and all everything comes under the Christ the Bible says that the Lord my help cometh from the Lord which make heaven and the earth he can make men he can make a family he can make your finances he can bring strange beauty and glory out of your life and there are many ways that God makes there are many ways that he helps one of it is to deliver another is to lift my brothers and my sisters please listen to me God is not a man find a way of being convinced tonight because if you don't believe this it will be difficult for you every challenge looks mighty until you see the size of God with respect to it the medical bills always look threatening the medical report always looks threatening but when God steps in he changes everything when he's done he leaves his signature El Shaddai when when God visits you he doesn't just leave he will leave his signature so that everyone will know that this one is the Lord's doing are we together many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivered them. The Lord delivered him from them all. From them all. This is a word of hope. That means you can expect tonight that God should visit you completely. Now listen, listen, listen. Let me teach you something about Satan. Satan is the master of the flesh realm. Did you know why the Bible says for to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The gateway to your mind from the earth realm is to your faculties of interaction with this realm. And Satan is a master of the flesh realm. He will magnify the challenge that stands before you. And he keeps magnifying it until God is demagnified in your life. And at that point, you will never be able to see the possibilities of God in your life again. This is what leads to men limiting God. The Bible says they limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God make a way? Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. God is going to do wonders in the lives of people tonight. Let me share with you something very deep right now and then we're going to pray. I didn't intend to wear what I'm wearing. Anybody who knows me knows that this, has, this is not my dressing at all. I intended wearing something else when the Spirit of God began to give me a revelation. I saw strange fruitfulness. It's a very mighty grace. Listen. And the Lord told me not... I mean, I was just sharing with my boys and they thought it was just to iron this. And the Lord said, you are not only going to teach it, you will act it like a garment. This is why I'm wearing what I'm wearing now. See, listen, the way of the spirit is strange. You have to be spiritual to understand the impulses of the spirit. It always does not make sense until it happens. Are we together? fruitfulness I will make you exceeding fruitful that kings will come out of you see listen there is a song that says he knows my name he knows my every thought he sees each tear that falls Many times when you stand in front of the obstacles, the sicknesses, the infirmity, Satan is master of the flesh realm. He will tell you how many men of God have prayed for you. How many times have you fasted over this issue? But one thing you need to understand about the word of God is that it does not just come, it is sent. Please understand this. When I sent you, the word of God is sent sent when it is sent it is mandated to not return to god void until it accomplishes the purpose for which it has been sent are we together please sit down we'll soon be standing to pray so the lord has many ways of delivering his own The second thing I want to communicate tonight is that as powerful as God is, please listen, as powerful as God is, the possibilities that come to men from God depend on the quality of the vessel being used. Please listen carefully. It does not just depend on the might of God. The vessel being used has a lot to do with what reaches the saints. I sense a strong anointing here. I'm seeing lights. Lights. This is what I see. When I begin to talk about these things, the Lord puts a witness to himself. Lights. Overflow one. Horashila haskuba harika tusiata. We see the rain of your love We feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear We see the rain of your love We feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear, so let it rain, let it rain, open the flood, let Listen, 
Let's sit down. All vessels do not allow the same possibilities of God to reach men. The power of God is not just limited by demons and principalities and powers. The capacity through the mystery of death that is provided by the vessels can amplify the hand of God as far as providing spiritual possibilities is concerned. So it is true that God intends to do a thing within this is domain called earth. But listen to me. A vessel can be so limited and because that is the vessel God has to make do with. God will have to navigate around the allowance that the death of that vessel can provide. Listen very carefully. So that many times what we experience in the meeting is not necessarily all God could do. It was what the level of the death and the alignment of the vessel allowed. Therefore, we are mandated as privileged stewards of this mystery to continue to die and to continue to expand because there is a relationship between our death and the glory that is released. Are we together now? Most of us are not aware of how many things on earth really depend on men there are so many things on earth that do not depend on God but the world of men is where the allowance or the disallowance happens and this is a deep mystery because God made it so did you know that you can have a vision of you being delivered and you being blessed? The challenge is that the miracle you want to receive does not just come generically. You see, the miracle you want to receive must be lower than the level of death I have gone through to really reach you the way it left heaven. <sighs> if you are faced with a situation that is higher than the death level of that vessel as mighty as God is that vessel will not be able to receive the richness of what was sent to heaven this is more than just being anointed this is becoming a conduit for greater heavier and weightier dimensions of the possibilities of God to reach men I arrived and my eyes was almost full of tears as I saw the crowds of people. I know you came to see God. We agree. It is true. But you can imagine in a meeting where people start and welcome the Lord Jesus Christ. And yet burdens remain there. Challenges remain there until a man shows up. And then the burdens begin to go. God was there right from the beginning of the service. Are we together now? This is very powerful. And every time God grants us the privilege to grow and to transit in the spirit, we rejoice not just for ourselves alone, but that we have been able to capture greater dimensions of possibilities for the sake of the saints. So that what could not be solved yesterday can now be solved today. This is the beauty of growth. This is the beauty of power. This is the only justification why people should continue to listen and receive from a man. It should be predicated on the fact that there is an intentional commitment to grow, to expand, to be able to host more of God. Nina Salama. Nina
Salama, Salama, Sir King Salama, the Prince of Peace, bringing you peace, that God shall give you peace by all means, by all means. Sir King Salama, So when God speaks, listen, the dynamics of the working of his word is that mediating between God, the communicator of that dimension, and man who is the final recipient, there must be men. And this is where the problem usually is. The problem is not with the power of God. The problem is not with the wisdom of God. The problem is the limitation of the vessels that he has to make do with. Are we together now? Yes. So the greater the death, the more the life, the power in experience of the reality of the Christ. Here's what the Bible says. Now unto him who is able to do, listen, exceeding, abundantly, far above all we ask or think. Then it says, according to the power, not that works in him, that works in us. He is able to do. There's no problem with his ability. But that ability, the manifestation is limited by the power that works in us. The dam can supply water. The borehole can supply water. But what enters your bucket finally is the size of the opening from the nozzle of the tap. If the tap is open so small, it can make the dam look limited. And you can be receiving drops of water and you will have to make do with what is coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so God wants to cap this revelation of this mystery of fruitfulness in our lives. God wants to wrought mighty deliverance. What is deliverance? A separation from the obstacle, the impedance that stands before you, around you. The obstacles don't have to be spirits. They can be situations. Hallelujah. If you are giving a death sentence in terms of a medical report, that report is looking for the power of God. Remember, we have taught here that the real activator of the possibilities of God is his divine power. His divine power flows through the channel of faith. But the final mystery that works the wonders is his divine power. The Bible says, according as his divine power that hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Tonight gathered here are several people with conditions that only God knows and only God can tell. But one thing I can tell you is that the king of glory is in this place. And not only the king of glory is in this place, the vessels that he has so engraced are also in this place. It is not a popular revelation in the church. Every time people say God is here, they are right. But the presence of the vessels that will be used by that God is often trivialized. Men are very powerful and they are very important. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, burdens will fall. Tonight, yokes will be destroyed. Tonight, God will turn the lives of people around. Hear me? There are things that have no business happening in your life that will be made to happen. Creation did not stop on the seventh day. God only rested. 
please understand this creation did not stop there is nowhere in the bible that god stopped creating mm -mm. creation god only took a break but creation continues not just plants and animals to create means to make material to create a scenario out of nothing you have no business getting a job before the year runs but the world can create you have no business coming out of pain you have no business but the word the rima word revealed backed by the power of god you have no business being healed today but the bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to appoint means to set the date when it happens not only to reveal that it will happen to make it happen hmm. hallelujah praise the lord please hear me shake away unbelief from your mind as we begin to pray don't let the, the devil will use the flesh this is not the first time you are attending a miracle service, he will tell you. This is not the first time men of God are praying for you. The moment those things come, you have the responsibility of fortifying your mind. You refuse, reject it. You can insist by faith that tonight is my night. You can insist by faith. Father, the grace that has not come upon my life before tonight is the night it will come. Lord, the dimension that have not been opened to yet, this is the night I will receive. Hear me. Hear me. There are no special days for anybody. It is your faith that makes it special. The Bible said today, if you hear his voice, any day can be that today. Mm. Are we together? Blind Bartimeo is at the way towards Jericho. And Jesus will be passing for the last time. And the guy would have said one day he will come back again. And he would have missed it. The Bible says he cried. He cried, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus looks at him and with what you would think is sarcasm, he said, what should I do for you? And then he says to regain my sight. And that man regained his sight. Only people who insist with understanding receive anything. Hoping and wishing that God will touch me is a waste of time. We'll share the grace and you'll go back frustrated. But there are people who have come. Some of you have been fasting. Some of you traveled from outside of this nation within this nation with hunger there are people standing outside people following online why will you allow the service finish and you just go back like that you are a man of god you have come from far why don't you carry something of substance that you can go back with as a witness that you met with the power of god is god speaking to us one scripture and then we'll pray Isaiah 61 this is a scripture that is very powerful the hand of God is moving in overflow one I continue to see this thing overflow one I'm seeing it's an impartation it's not just a deliverance there is a pouring of graces that is coming on specific people the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the lord had ordained the word anointed there is ordained ordained me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives the opening of prison to them that are bound verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. All, not some, three. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, giving them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. It says that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Go to verse 4. And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. 
they shall repair the waste cities and the desolations of many generations I believe in the power of God I believe in the anointing of the Holy Ghost I believe in the limitless dimension of what the Spirit of God can do upon it how shall these things be Mary said seeing that I know not a man he says the power of the highest shall overshadow not come upon overshadow you are under the influence of the Spirit of God and under the influence of the Holy Spirit there is nothing that cannot happen please listen to me under the influence of the Spirit time can be compressed under the influence of the Holy Spirit there are things that should not happen but can happen now the Lord is that spirit the Bible says this Lord we have been talking about is that spirit not just the father seated on the throne the Lord who delivered the righteous the Lord who anoints is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is you will know that he is there by the miracles you know that he's there not just because you ask him to come alone you are here working miracles I worship you I worship you you are here turning lives around I worship you I worship you. You are here releasing destinies. I worship you. I worship you. in a place not just because you believe by faith but there are tokens there are representations that attest to and validate the fact that he's in the midst of his people listen let me tell you my brothers and my sisters tonight you are in for an encounter you are in for an experience it's a shift in the spirit and I want you to believe we are immersed in an atmosphere of limited possibilities limitless possibilities do not allow the devil to lie to you that your case is so great that God cannot meet you that God cannot touch you let God be true and let every man be a liar hallelujah now, but listen, I learned this from Pastor Benny Hinn. I will share this briefly and then we'll begin to pray. Having worked in the healing ministry for more than half of a century, Benny Hinn shared that one of the challenges he had observed with people when the power of God begins to move is they are not ready to release the pain the sickness, the infirmity. You will think just because you are in God's presence and you expect him to touch you, to heal you, he will not take something from you that you are still holding back. This mystery was demonstrated in the woman with the alabaster box. When she came to Jesus, the Bible says it was made of spikenard, pure nard, a year's wages. She broke it at his feet and it became an instrument of worship there are people who come with medical reports they come with pain they are just coming to inform god that this is what they are going through they are not ready for the exchange yet listen this is a very simple but powerful spiritual key 
when you come to God, the Bible says the instruction is to believe that he exists. Number two, that he is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him. How does he reward? There must always be an exchange. Your weakness for his strength. The miracle, the testimony. Are we together now? So you must be able to hand over everything. Here's how the Bible puts it. All my cares and burdens unto you. I That's a part of the song that is powerful. Lord, I come to you with this array of family challenges. I'm handing it over to you. I don't expect to go empty. There are many people, whether God touches you or not, you will go back full because you didn't give him anything. Until you transfer the burden, the sickness, the Bible says, cast all your cares. It didn't say God will do it. It is your responsibility to say, Lord, I'm tired of carrying this infirmity. I'm tired of carrying this evil report. I bring it before you and I cast it down. When you are now empty, God says, I now exchange that which you have brought for what I have brought. Nobody comes before God empty. And God does not come before any man empty. The problem is there must be willingness for the exchange. God will not rest upon you when your hands are full, when your mind is full. Listen, it is very important. You are a man of God here. If all you come to give God is frustration of ministry, Lord, the church is not growing. Lord, this and that, that's, that, mm -mm, that's not the issue. Lord, I hand over everything. So it's time to carry your bills that is killing you and surrender it before him. It, listen, it's time to take the sickness. It's time to take the, all the concerns. Don't take some and leave some. Carry everything. Ah. I cast my crown before the highest When your hands are too heavy, you cannot receive anything. You will need to take away, bring the report from your office. Bring the report from a doctor. Bring everything. When you lay it at his feet, you now lift your hand ready to receive the healing, the miracle. You don't come before God just to inform him. No. God is not interested in just being aware. He's interested in doing something. Cast your care. Listen. Coming to God and releasing everything is proof of faith. That you come before him and say, Lord, 
if you do not help me, I don't know where the house rent is coming from. We are 11 in this family and it's clear that there is a yoke upon this family. You may think, listen, you may think because you have always appearing before him, it means you are casting your care. No. You have to intentionally, consciously say, Lord, I don't want this sickness again. Take it. I'm tired of this life of poverty and failure. I'm tired of this life without results. Are we together now? Yes. And one of the ways that we cast our care is through worship. Another way that we cast our care is through prayer. Very powerful. You can pray and say, Lord, take everything. Take everything. Tired of the burden of ministry. Tired of the burden of my family. This is not how you designed me to walk. Take it. And then when you are now empty, remember when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. Are we together tonight? It does not take God anything to lift you. It does not take God anything to bless you. It does not take God anything to cause men to bless and honor and lift you. Listen, Benny Hinn said that many people come to his healing crusades and they are ever conscious of their sicknesses, conscious of their infirmity, and even when the power of God is flowing, the fortitude for reception is not there because they are busy meditating. The size of this problem, can God solve it? And God is wondering and saying, who told you, who, who educated you about me? Who told you about me? The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Tonight, God is able to transform. Tonight, God is able to heal. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To transform and to heal. Apostle, you don't understand the gravity of my situation. That's why. It's your mind and your perception that is being enlarged by the power of darkness. When God comes, the Bible says the mountains keep. Skip. And he clears a way for you. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. I'll give us two prayer points before I begin to minister. And I want us to please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. The first prayer is you are going to ask the Lord. Listen carefully. You're going to ask the Lord to do something to your faith tonight. I agree and I concur that sometimes the prevailing challenges can be so great and so mighty. You will sit down and begin to wonder in our finite minds, how will God navigate this and bring and birth this miracle for me? Are we together now? This is where the spirit of faith comes. The faith of God. He says, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. You're going to pray, Lord, my faith is strong. I believe you. I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Tonight, my faith is strong. I believe that this is the night, the night when you transform the night when you heal the night when you deliver the night when you turn my family around is someone pray this is the night of your power the night of your glory this beginning of miracles did Jesus in the presence of his disciples and manifested his glory manifest your glory oh God father help my own belief I reject unbelief they limited God in the wilderness by saying can God make a way can God make a way ha 
You are in ministry, pray. Tonight is a night when you expand, when you receive. You are in business, pray. Career, pray. You are in ministry, pray. For your family, pray. Release your faith. Hallelujah. Listen. Prayer point number two. The Bible says, Ye have not because ye ask not. You have not because you ask not. He said, ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete. Ask and you will receive. He didn't say give us any day. Give us this day our daily bread. Listen, when you come to God, it is not only important that you are aware of who he is, but you must come to God stating specifically the way and the manner that you desire or the area that you trust him to step in and come through for you for. Every time Jesus would meet with a blind man, a lame man, he would ask them, what do you want? That you are lame does not mean you want to stand. You must be able to verbalize your requests. You must be able to communicate. Listen, I know that many of you have written your prayer request, but I want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with God. Open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Someone is talking to the Lord. Communicate your expectation. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden. The Lord had done great things for us. It says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with faith in your heart. Someone is praying, Lord, my ministry is about to catch fire. There is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life. There is an operation of the spirit that must rest upon me. Is someone praying? I will never be the same. My life is changed. I will never be the same. My life, I will never be the same. I've touched your grave. I will never, will never be the same. My life is. 
listen please look up it is not very difficult for a man's situation to change god is not a magician you will need to release your faith with understanding you are before the god of all flesh the doer the walker of wonders he's truly a miracle worker please believe in miracles believe in miracles they are not a fabrication of human intelligence no no god can work miracles god does miracles god delivers god heals god lifts god transforms god sets free that's what his grace can do never be the same i've touched your grace my life must change i will never stay the same i've touched your grace my life is changed i will never preach the same i've touched your grace my life is changed i will never see the same i've touched your grace my life is changed hallelujah hallelujah in the atmosphere of god's glory listen don't wait until you are called by prophecy don't wait until you are prophesied upon let your heart be open to receive let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit i want to pray now please listen listen to me the power of god is very strong here let's work together now guys deliverance when kept within the boundaries of the word of god is powerful listen because for many of us let me tell you this i submit to you listen please don't inconvenience the guests the space is all right just just let them be please listen it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept that behind many tragedies are spirits please understand this behind many operations listen when jesus was going to calm the storm every storm is made of two things wind and water you can see the water but you cannot see the wind every storm is made of wind and water there is no storm that is made of water alone jesus rebuked the water he rebuked the wind and the water was still there is no problem that is as a physical problem there are spirits back of it whether it is financial marital spiritual one of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital no sir no sir there are spirits more spirits than men on the earth in one man there was a legion in one man that's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits six thousand spirits in one man please listen to what i tell you your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around and it, yes there are principles here and there but hear me you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with are we together there are you can only judge situations by what has affected you the one that has not affected you yet is there but just because it has not happened yet you may not know so the secret is to address the spirits behind it and not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there
Are we together? When we pray and minister to people, listen, we're, we're, a, very, we're a very balanced, Bible-based ministry. And let me tell you this by the Spirit of God. You do not help men when you leave the spirit that is back of their situations to go back with them. Now, I know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of Scripture. This is not what we are talking about. We are talking of liberty that is provable. That you can walk out before the service is done. You are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You can be a man of God here. Greatly ministry. You are anointed. But things may not be working. And you may just think the issue is just ministry ethics, preaching well. That is wonderful. But let me tell you, he said, I desire once and again to come to you. But Satan hindered us. It is not only angels that are on assignment. There are spirits on assignment. There are demons on assignment. There are powers that are on assignment. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. What seest thou? Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, and against Israel. That these horns have made it that no man doth lift his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. It's a reality. Behind many families are spirits. Behind many medical reports are spirits. Behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits. Oh, 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 oh. my help has come. shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago he was in ministry and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him and while I was talking with him as he entered my room I saw a spirit just entering with him and I looked at this dear gentleman lovely adorable wonderful person and I was politely going to hint him to say sir the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem. And ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said, no, no, no. Don't talk to me about this and that. I said, that's all right. No problem. I respect you. I do this. Let me just pray with you. That's all I requested from him. The last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray. And then when he recovered from himself, like almost an hour later on, he got up. And for the next three days, this gentleman kept reaching me. And said, Apostle, you have rattled my theology. What is this? Doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life. Listen, I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas. It's very strange. They were bound hand and feet, the Bible says, at midnight. They lifted up their voices. They prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake because God himself came. And then, listen, the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake, the chains by themselves fell. Immediately, the chains fell. He said, all doors open. Not some. All doors. There was no use of key. The key was that chain. As the chain fell, the doors opened. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute. Father, if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation, it must live by the spirit and the grace of God. Lift your voice and pray.
Pela baruta shala karapa katuza bradiya. Prante la shubra haska barutiya. E gredu si ala haska baruta si ala bas. Shali barato salabadushi. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Tonight in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is not of the Christ, that is back of the situation around my life, my family, my business, my ministry, pray. Hallelujah. You see, the power of God is already touching people. Listen, I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real. They are very, very real. Very real. Hallelujah. I have met so many spirits in my life. I've had so many encounters. That's not the basis of believing they are there. Scripture already tells us they are there. But let me tell you they are there. And they are not there doing nothing. They are there causing pain. They are there manipulating families. They are there projecting things that are not of the Christ. But the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's pray. I want to begin to pray now. Please listen. Whether or not you are an usher, I'd like you to help those under the anointing. We are going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering. Um, please participate in the prayer. Prayer is very powerful when done with understanding. Are we together? Now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people. Because there are real spirits behind people's situations. Hallelujah. First, I want you to bring out now. I'm not going to say anything. God is giving me an instruction. The power of God, I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people. And these are spirits. And when that happens, the power of God will come upon them. I want you, whether outside or inside, just begin to bring them out here. We're going to pray and call on that name now. But the Lord is revealing to me. You will be very surprised. Some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. Except God is not God. There is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight. Please quickly just bring them out. I'm seeing the power of God. I don't know why God is giving me this instruction. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. It's time for your liberty and your liberty in full, in full by the Spirit. Establishing the victory of the Christ over every life, every destiny. Christ 
Credo Selica Tusi Adabash. we are ready to pray please lift your hands let me pray now i'm seeing fire that fire is coming on people as i pray in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god as you shout that name jesus i declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives over bodies over finances over destinies i invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant he must go now at the count of three shout jesus one two three I cause darkness by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I command the powers that be by the blood of the eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit. I come against it by the God of Jeshurun. Please bring them out. We release a sound in the realm of the spirit. We declare sounds of victory. We are still praying, my God. Chains. I'm seeing chains in the spirit. One more time, you are going to shout that name. Lord, if there is anyone here under any kind of chain, the Bible says to release them that are bound. As you shout that name, no matter how long that chain has stayed, it's time for you to be released. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father, for the honor of your word. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Over families. Over businesses. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard. I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard. And the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave. The spirit of Hades. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare right now. Anyone covenanted to the power of the grave. The covenant with death. The covenant with the grave. By fire. May that fire fall on you now. The covenant with the grave. The covenant with death. I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Be liberated now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Now listen, we are going to pray for the sick, but I'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lungs. Growths and lungs. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, every growth fibroids, malignant growth, cancerous tissues by the spirit of the living God. Let the life and the power of God touch you now. Let the life, help them please. Let the life and the power of God in the name of Jesus, I command those crows to leave those bodies now. I command them to dissolve now. Help that lady, please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. 
growths. I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone, including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found Everyone here in front in this overflow and all the overflows i declare that the spirit that lay claim upon any aspect of your life i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i command them to leave now pack your load and go at the count of three one two three go 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 out of their destinies now out of their lives forever out of their lives forever out of their homes forever forever hallelujah please pay attention we are still praying now the Lord is showing me something that I don't see very often I'm seeing an old gate and I'm seeing chains on it with a padlock this is a sign of stagnation. You are here and mysteriously, you have been in the same position. You try to move, you try to push. I'm about to smash that gate to pieces. Not to open it, to stamp it down. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Now help them please. Listen, I want you to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart. I decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men, by systems, by spirits, so that you cannot move. By this shout of the healer tonight, I declare every gate crushed and comes down now. Are you ready? At the count of three. One, two, three I prophesy to you move forward go forward go forward go forward stagnation comes to an end Ritro apakoto shala rekete kete kete parus kaba embreketo sheleto sabaka stagnation comes to an end retrogression comes to an end Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing the name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry. Don't force and rush those who are standing in front. You are Bukola. Where are you coming from? Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. This, my, in the name of Jesus, this chain that I'm seeing be loose now. In the name of Jesus, I lose you from that chain. It is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. First bank. Let's hurry up, please. You walk. Who is that first bank? All of you are Bukola. Ma, let me speak to you. The grace for wealth. Stand up. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing currencies falling on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth. 
this, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these Bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you, one of you. It, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power of God. When that happens, um, I will just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? First Bank, you are a staff. Huh? No, you are not a staff of First Bank. You are on contract. Is that true? You are on contract. I will still pray. This person I'm seeing is a bona fide staff of the bank. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something that can cost you your job. Father, show this, my dear brother, mercy by the grace of God. Look at me, sir. I'm seeing a whirlwind on your head. I need to pray against confusion and pray against stagnation. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free now and you are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are observing the ladies. The power of God is going to come on one. That's the instruction God is giving me. It's very mighty anointing. When it comes on that one, I want to pray for them. Your father is a general in the army. Who is that? Your dad is a general in the army. I need to pray. We need to rebuke conspiracies. The Lord is showing me your father. Is it a general in the army? Real army, military. Please, if you are that person, I want you to come. If you are that person, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. This is conspiracy. In the name of Jesus, over her family, let there be a mighty deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord himself give you testimonies. Very strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. There's no marriage. One, two, three, four, five. Five ladies. Nobody has settled down. Where are you? Please come. Where are you coming from, my dear? From Joss. I want to pray. You are five of you. All alive. Five ladies. No one has settled down. What do you do? Contract staff with Sterling Bank. Wait. Sterling Bank. Sterling Bank. Yes. You will leave the bank soon. Amen. Listen to me. There is another job that is coming for you. When that job comes, don't fight it. It's the will of God. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should go and retire now. But I'm telling you that another job is coming. Let's pray. It's not normal. We need to break this. I'm seeing three ladies in my vision. I don't know why there's only one person here. These five, five families. Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come and stand here. If it's not, I will pray for everybody. Five families. None. Not one person has settled down. Ladies now. Don't cry, my dear. Jesus is in this place. Release the family now. Release the family now. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing coals of fire and I'm seeing a horn on it. Release the family now. There is someone here. This is a very mysterious thing that happens to you. In a very strange way. This happens especially when you pray for extended periods. Your whole body starts itching you in a funny way. You know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug? Chloroquine. That's what happens to you. Like physically you begin to scratch your body. I must pray for you. Why is she here? Please. You are the one? Come. Come. Madam, you too. Where are you coming from, ma? You are coming from Abuja. Come. We we'll attend to the photos you are holding here, eh? but for now, we need to pray for you. This is, this is not just evil, very evil. I have to pray for you. 
You too, my brother. Where are you coming from? Okay. You see, my dear people, I'm, no, I'm not saying if your body is itch, listen to the, the, the issue. I just saw fire, this row, right down, just like a sword of fire just passed. I don't know who that is for, but in the name of Jesus, let it bring emancipation right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. You believe in Jesus? I bring you life from this kingdom that we represent. Be free now from this demonic, satanic oppression. In the name of Jesus. Our dear auntie, let me pray for you. Just keep her there. Can you hold my hands, madam? I want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names. Help her. Be free right now. I curse the workings of darkness over your body and over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Five families, hold my hands. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let it be over. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my dear. I'm looking at you physically, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing an arrow inside your head. I need to pray. There is infirmity that has been projected in your body. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is that all right? Father, help this lady. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be free from this that does not name the name of Christ. I set you free from it now in the name of Jesus. Five ladies, I'll just lay my hands on you. Be free right now. Let the doors be opened. Be free right now. Kai, let her go. Out now in the name of Jesus. She's also here. Your dad is a general in the army. Where are you from? Gombe State. You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. I like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, man. Eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, preserve the life of this our general in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a family now, God is breaking the plague of death. The power of God is coming. I don't know whether they are inside or outside. The plague of death is being broken right now. There is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death. Please come very quickly. I'll just touch you. I don't know why they are here, but we have to hurry up very quickly. Just a touch. Believe by faith. It is over. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sir, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Abuja. From Abuja? Yeah. What do you do, sir? I'm a minister. You're a minister of the gospel. I want to pray for you. Where, where, where are you coming from? Where do you come, your state of origin? Kapaibo. Do you plan to go this Christmas? I'm not yet, but I'm not. Huh? I'm, I, I went for operation. It's not up to Listen, me. that's why I want to talk to you. I'm looking at this man, and I'm seeing you were supposed to have died. It's because of the intercession of men that you are alive. But then, I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. We, anything God shows, we cancel. You get the point now? I'm seeing this man going in a bus, and I'm seeing a truck. I will not mention, I'm not being antagonistic, but the truck did not just shift your car. It climbed it, and everybody gone like that. You see, when God shows a thing, it is because of the strength he has put in his church. The power to change it completely. Are we together? I want to pray for you. You are very sick. And even the surgery has not solved the problem. Because what I'm seeing is still there. Please hold my hand, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, let this man not be given to the sword. 
let him not be given to the grave in the name of Jesus I knock on the door of life and I speak to you sir by the power of the Holy Ghost be set free I fortify you by the power of God's Word and I declare death will be far from your dwelling I speak that your going out is blessed and safe even your coming in is blessed and it is safe in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy continually in Jesus name I pray family of five I need to pray hold my hands Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh yeah. Oh yeah yeah say oh In the name of Jesus I lose you and your siblings everything that is an orchestration of darkness I speak by the Spirit of the Living God you are loose now in the name of Jesus I declare liberty I restore dignity and honor what is happening to you I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going out here there's somebody the same thing is happening to someone there the same thing God is doing here, God is doing to a lady there. I declare be liberated right now in the name of Jesus. Please come, sir. Let me just touch you by faith. In Jesus' name, be set free. Come. In Jesus' name, be set free. 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 There is someone, I think you are in ministry, you are in overflow one. The power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now. Please carry the person and bring the person here. We have to hurry up. I'm seeing the power of God touch the person. Hallelujah. I'm about to release that grace for speed again. Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Shala super ruskiata. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are easterners. Is, this, is a, this is a sign and a wonder. When God shows me a map, whenever I mention that location, anyone who is oppressed within that location, the power of God comes on them. Right now, I'm seeing the east. The east. I release that power now. The Lord is bringing liberation, eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra the power of God is touching that woman right now who is the person mommy you're welcome one to pray ah. not everything that looks like sickness is sickness there are many things that are projections of darkness are we together mommy let me pray for you in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God help her please in the name of Jesus I command that spirit now by the power of the Holy Ghost release our mother in the name of Jesus mommy I command that infirmity that plague and that yoke of darkness be gone right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let me just pray for these two people now this lady where's she coming from okay there is it will surprise you 
how the grace for intercession will come on you this lady this fair lady i'm talking to you in the name of jesus i speak by the power of the holy ghost may that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder the lord will show you things in your dreams he will show you things in visions please bring our mommy for me let me pray in the name of jesus christ um just touch her back for me in the name of jesus christ i declare right now this is not sickness this is the spirit of death i command the spirit of death hell and the grave to leave our mother right now by the power of the holy spirit complete emancipation complete emancipation in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here i don't know why but this is what he's saying just right here to the wall i'm seeing i'm seeing people's stomach the abdominal region i'm seeing things like chains just bring those under the anointing as i'm talking i'm seeing things like chains these are devils of infirmity the lord is asking me to just stretch my hand please just allow me do my madness with god here and let the lord set these people free please bring them out we're hurrying up now in the name of jesus karu salatu ziata kariza hasalam barita suba haseketa kradu saletu shala sabah hasara tata ziakata rakata barada balakata prata sadabakatu shala branda skabariata i place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact every planting that is not of god in the name of jesus christ be free from it now yeah. hallelujah the power of god is coming on one of the ushering ladies one of these ladies with the jerseys i'm seeing an anointing i know you are ministering but this is a miracle god is bringing for you for your family one of the ushering ladies i don't know whether they are inside outside i'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies this is this is liberty that god is bringing right now shalus karita hasubadia in the name of jesus my dear look at me shame and reproach is living your life now shame and reproach is living your life now the garment of shame and reproach is living your life now why is this gentleman here you are not the anointing outside come hold my hands in the name of jesus i pray for you come you lifting your hands run come your time of change has come where are you coming from it's, it's all right it's okay don't worry that's why you are here do you know me that's why i'm saying you just relax you were in the crowd and god brought you here do you know why god brought you here because things are not working at all in your family god needs to turn things around if i don't pray for you what i'm seeing is you are celebrating christmas morning and blaming people being the reason why somebody died and another person died because i'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family but the bible says now the lord is that spirit let me pray for you hold my hands my dear what did you study medical laboratory science do you have a job i'm, I'm a copper in on those states i'm working i'm a copper i'm serving an ngo for HIV known those things. I want to pray for you. The favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil over your family. And in the name of Jesus, I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I want to release this grace for speed. Please, I want you to believe there is a real grace for speed. If you don't have it, you don't have it, period. There is a grace. Kashina, Kamuna, 
Searching Aljana, ya na na, dashina. Sarkin Sarakuna Yana Na Sarkin Sarakuna Let's pray. Listen. It's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding. When you understand how speed works, you will never feel bad for any delay in your life. It's a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny. It works mysteriously. It works by compressing time. 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 Dominion over time is what speed is about. I want to pray for someone now. Sirkin Sarakuna. Father, please, I know that when I begin to pray inside and outside, people will begin to run physically. Honestly, why God does it, I don't know. I think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. But every time I pray this prayer, the hand of God comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically. And I'm going to pray that prayer now. There are people here, God wants to take 10 years and put in one year. God wants to take one year five years and put in one month is it not written in your bible that i will restore the years god does not only restore things he restores time whoever can restore time must be god himself are we together in the name of jesus i decree and declare right now Everyone under the sound of my voice, inside, outside, parushalata. I declare at the count of three, Father, let this grace for speed, restoration, the mystery that gains time. May that grace fall upon people within this auditorium, overflow. One, two, three, four, online. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. One, two, three, take that grace now. Speed, restoration. I prophesy, pursue, overtake without fail, recover. Pursue, overtake without fail, recover. In career, pursue. In marriage, pursue. In ministry, pursue. I'm speaking by the Spirit. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue, help that woman, please. Overtake, recover. Financially, pursue, overtake, recover. In your influence, pursue, overtake, recover. In your academics, I pray for students. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue, overtake, recover. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person by the person's self, mysteriously by the spirit. There is a prophetic word, and this is how God told me it's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. It will happen by the spirit. They will come out by themselves. A strong anointing is not something you can resist. This is a sign and a wonder. How God does it, I don't know. Sarkin Sarakuna. Na, na, na. 
Sarkin Sarabuna Yana Yana Sarkin Sarabuna There are three more people. That's why I'm standing. Three more people. It's a wind, it's a force of the spirit. The wonder walking power of Jesus. How the church has limited him, limited him, limited him. Please help them, make sure they don't injure themselves. Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana. ones that have come out by the spirit I'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet I'm seeing their legs specifically their legs with chains I lose you now in the name of Jesus I release you to destiny I release you to destiny I release you to destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost no more delay no more retrogression by the spirit of the living God The force of God's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people. The power of God is coming on this gentleman, this one wearing polo. Yes, my friend, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way, and I'm seeing a gate open before you, and night is at your back and day is in your front i prophesy to you what i'm seeing and to everyone who connects with this prophecy i take night behind you and i command your morning to stand before you i take night behind you and i command the sun to shine before you in the name of jesus christ Everyone lift your voice, say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, I am breaking limits. I am moving forward. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Breaking limits. In the name of Jesus, I make progress. Is someone praying? I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking limits. Breaking limits. Pali shala hasaka tabra galoshia. Ekretus kaba shala da baruti. Empre koto shone bra hasada da baladaba. Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke. I just saw fire, just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people, moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How forcible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you. The HICC pastor, a strong anointing shifting you by the spirit. Step into a new dimension. Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, na na na.
dimensions. We want to pray for the sick now. Listen very carefully. I believe in miracles. There are people here who are standing, trusting God to touch various aspects of their lives, their bodies. Kai, there is still a strong anointing around the minister section here. I'm seeing impartations, real graces, impartations coming by the Spirit. Impartations. People are drinking of wines. Ima, lift your hands. I amplify the prophetic upon your life in the name of Jesus. I I amplify the prophetic in the name of Jesus. Hold your hands, two of you. Please help them. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. Amplify the grace. You step into new dimensions in the spirit. The spirit and the power of the word. Your words from today will be like fire. Fire. Refine us fire. Sarukin Sarabuna Na 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 Sarukin Sarabuna Dan, come Hold my hands Grace is given for you to rise no more delay. I place a ladder before you and I shift you by the spirit to the amazement of many. May your life change, change like day and night. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise. Let's stretch our hands here. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time and the openness of the vessel. But that every time, this is not a ritual, it's a revelation to come before the God who can answer. Listen, there are things here written that are death sentences. There are things written here that will take only God. To provide a miracle for there are things written here that are age-long captivities some of them even predate our coming to the earth but there is a name that is above every other name the Bible says wherefore God hath so highly exalted him and given him an office a name a title the Bible says that at the mention of that name everything in the earth in heaven under the earth will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father I cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this this is not a ritual there is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here and one more time and the last time really for this year I want us to agree in the next two, three minutes. Wherever you are, just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the Egyptian that I see today, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I will see them no more forever. Is someone praying? Every evil report, orchestrations of darkness, if it had a beginning, tonight is the end. Pray. Don't worry, for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to, just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray.
Jesus, we decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Father, we bring before you every situation here. Marital situations, financial situations, spiritual situations, career situations. In the name of Jesus, we bring them under the covering of the blood. Every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain by the blood of the eternal covenant we nullify that access now in jesus name father by this prayer we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against god's people we declare them nullified forever i stand as one sent by the spirit of the lord and i declare receive strange testimonies before this year runs out in the name of jesus let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies <laughs> testimonies are largely answered through men hmm. when it leaves heaven most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form there are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form i'm praying every human agent that must partner with god partner with the systems of god to see to it that this request is granted we compel them by the spirit to do so now in the name of jesus every death sentence written here in the name of jesus we cancel it now yes. hallelujah let it be done so shall it be we establish it in the name of jesus now we want to round up by prophesying over our lives this for me you've heard me say this is the best part of the service because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life please i want you to agree with me every proclamation that will come receive it by faith believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it are we together in the name of jesus christ delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus and if our god is for us then you could ever stop us and if our god is with us then And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat. Financial walls go down flat. Career walls go down flat. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which god has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear, then you come. Listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still our year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now.
prepared blessings that take you to realms 10 years put in one month I release that grace upon you listen these graces are not some carnal show of wealth no they are time redemption systems understand what they are they seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom in the name of Jesus the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of Jesus I pray for every family represented here the sound of mourning the sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God let it come to an end this night everything that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job. Before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough. We call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God a restoration happens now. <laughs> Thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler, nor the noisome pestilence, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked i pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of jesus christ i speak over your life go from glory to glory the remaining weeks of this year I'm speaking to you may they be weeks of strange wonders and finally let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself. And then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. 
finally anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus for all of you who have traveled from far whether from another nation right down here from another city right down here you will go back with strange testimonies you will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here in the name of Jesus very quickly you are here under the sound of my voice please let's minimize movement and you are saying apostle I want you to give me an opportunity to give my life to Jesus Christ. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've seen the wonder-working power of God. I need Jesus as a matter of urgency in my life. Hear me? The Bible says, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Praise the Lord. Whether you are here inside or outside, there are people here who are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. There are others who are saying, Apostle, I need restoration of my relationship with Jesus. It is never too late to reconnect with him. Now, whether you are here, let's minimize movement, whether you are here inside or outside, we cannot close this meeting. This is the last miracle service for the year. Wherever you are, whether you are rededicating your life or you are handing your life over to Jesus for the first time, inside, outside, overflow, one, two, three. I want you to run and come and stand right in front of me here. Sustain the boldness to come. Don't be ashamed. Let's celebrate them as they come, Koinonia. Those coming from outside, please clear the way for them. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Keep coming. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no is the way Jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other Jesus is the way the Bible says for God so loved you and me he proved his love by giving not taking giving his one an only begotten son now the firstborn of we the begotten that whosoever will believe in him should not perish is a law but have the way the life of god you have come many of you making this decision for the first time many of you rededicating your lives to jesus listen it doesn't matter why you came i want you to know that there is a god who loves you desperately unashamedly and is ready to give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say this very passionately say this truthfully from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus please if you're joining us quickly come quickly come find a space and pray this prayer from the depth of your heart say with me again Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe join them quickly say I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin tonight I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight until forever I reign in life I am a child of God I belong to the family of God amen
keep your hands lifted while I pray for you father thank you you have brought these ones by your spirit you are able to save to the uttermost scripture says thank you for drawing these ones I decree and declare by the Spirit of God that every legal stand that the devil has against them is nullified tonight by the blood I declare by the authority of scripture your sins be forgiven and I declare that the Lord grants you a new beginning from tonight I declare that you go forward ever and backward never the power to love and serve Jesus is released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen now very quickly there are a number of you um, there are two gentlemen waving their hands you can follow this aisle or this dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and the The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.